I like the little jazz this morning. Fantastic out there. Temperatures a little bit below average yesterday, feeling that crisp, cooler air with highs into those 70s. While that heat built off to the west once again, Salt Lake City hitting a high of 102 degrees. Vegas, Phoenix feeling that heat as well. So here for us, quite refreshing. High temperatures into Wapaka hitting 75, into a Kanto, a high of just 69 degrees. So you can see this is a little bit below our average high into the those mid 70s. Also, our lows are right on par with where they should be. So as we talk about the humidity, it is staying suppressed down into Chicago, Detroit, Des Moines. We're still in some cool and refreshing air. Speaking of cool air, Marquette waking up to 37 degrees this morning. That is really frigid out there. You can tell that we're going to see some of these fall colors popping here pretty soon as even into the Northwoods. We are into those mid to upper 40s this morning, mid 50s to low 60s. If you're in the Fox Valley and Lakeshore winds still moving around here at about five to 10 miles per hour out of the northeast. We are looking at mostly beautiful clear skies, but a few clouds building into the south. As you can see, southern Wisconsin is actually cloudy into Iowa, Illinois, as well as from this system off into the east coast that is putting down some heavy rain with a flood watch in effect out there for them. They've picked up anywhere from one to nearly five inches into some places. So if you are traveling out here for this Labor Day, we are going to see fog and rainy conditions off into the East Coast, but here into the Midwest and Great Lakes region dry and we're going to stay that way as the severe weather risk and thunderstorm risk stays off there. We're underneath the high pressure system, so a lot of sunshine. We are going to warm things up to below average once again, kind of just like yesterday, upper 60s to low 70s. A few clouds here this morning will clear on out. We will see that northeast breeze keeping lakeside towns a little bit cooler than further inland, but otherwise just a beautiful crisp and clear day even into this evening. A few clouds build in, but we'll stay bright, beautiful and sunny for our Tuesday as well as this high pressure stays here. So we don't have chance of rain moving in until next weekend. This looks like Friday night into Saturday. We are looking at chances of anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rainfall. But until then, we are good to go. Look at your Tuesday, maybe a spotty shower, but I think it's just going to be some clouds in the morning. We'll clear it out for the afternoon and kind of repeat that as we go through our Wednesday as well. So the sun's not up yet this morning, 620 AM is when it will start to rise over that horizon and get those temperatures cranking back up into those low to mid 70s, much cooler by the lake. Keep that in mind. And then the lake stays warmer overnight while the Northwoods drops back down into those mid to upper 40s. Tomorrow we climb a few degrees warmer. We will climb into the upper 70s here into the Fox Valley. Lakeshore still staying a little bit cooler from that easterly breeze. It won't be too strong, but just enough to keep you a few degrees different there. So there's that sunshine all all week long. We are going to climb back into those mid 80s too. So one more taste of summer there before the 70s return by next weekend with that rain moving in Saturday, potentially into Sunday as well. But the 80s are going to be far and few between. So enjoy them while we have them. Right. Looks like a beautiful week. But Brittany, I'm stuck on what you said about Marquette this morning. Waking up in the 30s, I say too soon. It's too soon. I hope they have the thick sleeping bags if they're out there camping right now. Absolutely. Brittany, thank you so much. And still ahead here for us.